Vitamin D, also known as ergocalciferol D2, colocalciferol D3, and alpha-calcidol, is a fat-soluble vitamin that helps the body absorb calcium and phosphorus. It is essential for building and maintaining strong bones, as well as treating and preventing bone disorders such as rickets and osteomalacia. Vitamin D is produced by the body when the skin is exposed to sunlight, but factors such as sunscreen, limited sun exposure, dark skin, and age can prevent adequate vitamin D absorption. Vitamin D, when combined with calcium, is used to treat and prevent bone loss, specifically in cases of osteoporosis. It is also used in combination with other medications to address low levels of calcium or phosphate caused by certain disorders, such as hypoparathyroidism, pseudohyparathyroidism, and familial hypophosphatemia. In kidney disease, vitamin D is used to maintain normal calcium levels and support proper bone growth. Additionally, breastfed infants are given vitamin D drops or supplements because breast milk typically contains low levels of vitamin D. The optimal daily dosage of vitamin D varies depending on age, gender, and individual health factors. It is recommended to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the appropriate dosage for your specific needs. As for the best time to take vitamin D, it is generally recommended to take it with a meal to enhance absorption. However, always follow the instructions provided by your healthcare provider or the product label for the most accurate guidance. When taking Optimal D3, it is best to take it by mouth as directed, preferably after a meal, although it can be taken with or without food. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, be sure to follow their directions. Your dosage is based on your medical condition, sun exposure, diet, age, and response to treatment. If you are using the liquid form, be sure to measure the dose carefully with a special measuring device slash spoon, and do not use a household spoon. If you are taking the chewable tablet or wafers, chew thoroughly before swallowing. For rapidly dissolving tablets, place the dose on your tongue and allow it to dissolve completely before swallowing. It is important to note that certain medications, like bile acid sequestrants, mineral oil, or Lestat, can decrease the absorption of vitamin D. To avoid this, take your doses of these medications as far as possible from your doses of vitamin D, at least two hours apart, longer if possible. It may be easiest to take vitamin D at bedtime if you are also taking these other medications. Remember to take your medication regularly at the same time each day if you are taking it once a day. If it is once a week, take it on the same day each week. If your doctor has recommended a special diet, such as a diet high in calcium, be sure to follow it to get the most benefit from this medication and to prevent serious side effects. Do not take other supplements slash vitamins unless ordered by your doctor. If you have any concerns about your health, seek medical help right away. Vitamin D at normal doses typically doesn't cause any side effects. But if you experience anything unusual, it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist right away. If your doctor has prescribed this medication for you, it's because they've determined that the benefits outweigh the potential risks of side effects. Most people who use this medication don't experience any serious side effects. Taking too much vitamin D can lead to high levels of calcium in your body, which can be harmful. Let your doctor know immediately if you experience any signs of high vitamin D or calcium levels, such as nausea, vomiting, constipation, loss of appetite, increased thirst, increased urination, changes in mood or unusual tiredness. While it's rare, a very serious allergic reaction to this medication can occur. Seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, such as rash, itching or swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. And remember, this isn't a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice anything else that's concerning, make sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist. As for the optimal dosage and timing, it's best to follow your doctor's instructions. They will determine the right amount for you based on your individual needs. And as for timing, many people find it helpful to take their vitamin D with a meal to help with absorption. But as always, follow your doctor's recommendations for the best results. Before taking Optimal D3, it's important to talk to your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to vitamin D or other related products. This includes inactive ingredients like peanut slash soy, which can cause allergic reactions. It's also important to discuss your medical history, 
especially if you have high calcium slash vitamin D levels, difficulty absorbing nutrition from food, kidney disease, or liver disease. It's important to note that liquid products, chewable tablets, or dissolving tablets may contain sugar, aspartame, or alcohol. If you have diabetes, liver disease, phenylketonuria, PKU, or any other condition that requires you to limit slash avoid these substances, it's important to consult your healthcare provider before using this product. Before undergoing surgery, it's important to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. During pregnancy, it's important to only use doses of vitamin D greater than the recommended dietary allowance when clearly needed, and to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. If you are breastfeeding, it's important to consult your doctor before using Optimal D3. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when taking Optimal D3. Some products that may interact with this drug include burosumab and phosphate binders. Be sure to check the labels on all your prescription and non-prescription slash herbal products, such as antacids, laxatives, and vitamins, as they may contain calcium, magnesium, phosphate, or vitamin D. It's important to ask your pharmacist about using these products safely. Additionally, it's important to note that vitamin D is very similar to calcitriol, so it's important not to use medications containing calcitriol while using vitamin D. It's also important to be aware that this vitamin may interfere with certain lab tests, such as cholesterol tests, possibly causing false results. It's important to make sure that lab personnel and all your doctors are aware that you are using this vitamin. As for the daily dosage, the optimal timing to take Optimal D3 is in the morning, with a meal. The recommended daily dose for most adults is 600 to 800 IU, but it's essential to consult with your doctor to determine the best dosage for you. If someone has taken too much Optimal D3 and experiences severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it is important to seek immediate medical attention by calling 911 or a poison control center. In the U.S., residents can call 1-800-222-1222 for their local poison control center, while Canadian residents should contact their provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include seizures, confusion, and irregular heartbeat. It is crucial to seek help right away if these symptoms occur. It's important to have lab and medical tests, like checking your calcium, magnesium, and phosphorus levels, while taking Optimal D3. Make sure to keep all your medical and lab appointments and talk to your doctor for more information. You can also get vitamin D from foods like fortified dairy products, eggs, sardines, cod liver oil, chicken livers, and fatty fish. If you forget to take a dose of Optimal D3, take it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, just skip the missed dose and take the next one at your regular time. Don't take extra doses to make up for the missed one. When it comes to storing vitamin D products, it's important to keep them at room temperature, away from light and moisture. However, if you're using alpha-calcidol drops, it's best to store them in the refrigerator, but be sure not to freeze them. It's crucial to keep all medications out of reach of children and pets, and to avoid flushing them down the toilet or pouring them into a drain. When you no longer need the product or it has expired, be sure to properly dispose of it by consulting your pharmacist or local waste disposal company. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.